And explain what yeah. a fund is. Obviously, earlier we talked about syndicated yeah. investments yeah. where groups like us find one deal. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we, then we bring on investors for that one deal. But a fund is more uh, kind of broader. So give it yeah. kind of- Yeah, yeah. We, we, do, we do both. We do both. So the fund is um, the PPM, the private placement memorandum for the fund, describes the methodology of our acquisitions uh, it describes um, what we buy, where we buy it, and why we buy it, and what we're going to do with it, right? So instead of an investor looking at one, two, three Main Street and saying, I own a piece of that, what they now do is just like a mutual fund uh, in, 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 that, that a, a, a planner will put in front of an investor, we put a group of properties in one bucket together. And we say to the investors, invest in my bucket, and then we're going to go buy as many properties that meet that buying criteria to fill up the bucket. Once we get to 100 million, we'll stop the raise. So the way this fund works, it's uh, for accredited investors, minimum investment into the fund is 100,000. For that 100,000, they then own shares in the management company. Those shares are prorated on the assets that are in the fund. For those shares or the, 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 the targeted return that our investors are looking for based off of our methodology is a 6% preferred. Don't invest with us if you think 6% is where it's going to be because that, that's not the way it works. The preferred is the starting point. After that, they go into an equity split or a share on cash flow with us as the GP. So if I don't do a good job, I'm not making any money. Yeah. We also invest alongside our investors, which is important. So the targeted returns inside that fund structure on $100,000, using that as a number, is um, uh, 8 to 12% quarterly distributions annualized over one year. But what's nice is, is the way we put it together on a 72-month hold for the fund is we'll liquidate the assets in the fund during those last year and a half, two years. And then the investors are also participating in all of the upside on the sale of the assets in the fund. So they get 75% of the cash flow, 75% of the equity, giving them a targeted, what we call IRR, an internal rate of return, which is the value of the money working over time of around 18 to 20%. Nice. If you like to use a multiple, an investor likes the multiple, we target out like a 1.7 to a 2.1 multiple is what we shoot for working their capital. That's the fund. The 81 doors that I was just talking about, the, the ones that we have in the, uh, the Orlando market, well, that's workforce housing. That's a little more of an aggressive rehab. It's a little more of an aggressive return portfolio. So that, we do that as a sidecar deal. So we're in the middle of a, a $3 million raise. We've got about one and a half and we haven't even put it out to the market yet. Nice. So that deal there, here's the magic of this stuff. It's so good. Everybody wins. See, some investors say, no, I don't like the fund idea. I want to know my money's on 123 Main Street. Okay, well, this is 123 Main Street. This is 81 units, Lake County LLC. We're still the management company. We're raising. Here's your money. It's on this property. That one looks like a 6% pref, a little more aggressive on the quarterly distributions, shorter hold time, three years. And then the multiple on that is coming out like a 2.4 uh, uh, targeted on that one. That one actually is going to be better than that, we hope, where we target. We found a massive mold problem in due diligence. Now, you, you've got construction background, right? Oh, mold, run away. No, mold, run towards it. Contrarian, firefighter mentality. The seller needs to remediate the mold to transact. The seller's motivated. So we're going in there. We got a little extra construction. We got a little extra bump on it. There you so go. fund, pool of properties all in one bucket syndicated one-off deals, but here's the magic. We keep the fund as a very, very minor participant in the syndicated deals. So then the fund can also show assets under management because they're part of the syndicated deals as well. Okay. Nice. Which is really good optics uh, for, for a lot of investors as well going forward. So Absolutely. we get creative with it, but, but uh, it's, it's definitely... Um, you know what's funny? I'm not even in real estate anymore. Let's let's just go serious, right? I'm in finance today. All my conversations are finance, you know, yield and spread and you know, <laughs> GPLP. It's it's a finance conversation today. I miss I, 